Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video and uh, I guess another Ford Ranger update. So um, one of the things I guess I should talk about here is uh, I'm actually not really working on this red one as much anymore uh, and there are a few reasons for that. The uh, One of the big reasons is the white one is a lot better shape structurally. It was already licensed in California. The title transfer, all of that is going to be much easier. Uh, so it's just overall in better shape. Uh, but uh, one of the things that I'm going to need to do right now, and uh, this is sort of the update, is I need to get new tires for it. And uh, I just wanted to kind of show you what's going on, uh, explain a little bit of my decision uh, for where I went with the tires, uh, and you know, just kind of what I'm hoping to get out of it. So these are the original stock rims. They're not in great shape. If you look pretty closely at them, you'll see that there's uh, the clear coat is starting to peel off. Um, I'm not really concerned about that. These are cast aluminum rims. Uh, so it's not like they would corrode necessarily. Um, but I, I do, uh, will probably buff all of that clear coat off of it eventually. Uh, but one of the things is uh, these tires, these Integrity, uh, Goodyear Integrity, they are not the stock tire that came with it. And I believe uh, they're 215 uh, 70s, which is actually smaller uh, than the, the stock tire size. The stock tire size would actually be uh, 225 70 R15. Uh, and the original stock tires that came uh, with the Ranger Electric were actually uh, low rolling resistance tires. I think Tiger Paw, and they were one of the only low rolling resistance tires at the time, uh, and they're no longer available. Now, one of the reasons for uh, getting those, uh, you know, tires that are roughly the same size is it, is it helps uh, with the odometer and the speedometer. Now, I did end up getting uh, new tires, and despite, you know, these I, I think they were new when they were replaced and they have a lot of tread left I feel bad because it's kind of a waste uh, and you can kind of see the cracking here I think these were just stored and several of them don't even hold air anymore and so I'm just gonna have to get rid of them uh, I'm trading them in I did get a set like I said of stock tires and the only ones in the 225 70 R15 that are actually rated as low rolling resistance but you know your mileage can vary uh, in terms of what's actually low rolling resistance all right and just to give you kind of an idea one of the things with these Ford Rangers is uh, you know, you have a lot of diversity and options for tires, rim sizes, things like that. Uh, these were some of the ones that came on the red, and it looks like, you know, I think these are kind of, you know, thick, knobby off-roading tires that would are really are going to be kind of a waste on a two-wheel drive uh, truck. Uh, but that being said, I mean, they, they look kind of cool and everything, but they will take... Uh, you know a hit to your efficiency or you know give a good wallop to your efficiency but the the thing is too um you know these are i believe they're 31 inch tires uh yeah 30 31 inch tires so they are significantly larger uh than either these uh or the stock 225 um 70 that i'm putting on to the point that the, these ford ranger electrics have a max speed of 75 miles an hour these tires increase the the outside diameter to the point that it now has a a top speed of 85 miles an hour so you're talking like a 13 percent difference in uh in uh odometer and speedometer readings so that's that's a big deal but um either way yeah i'm 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 not going with those just yet all right and uh yeah so i have uh the bolt ev uh, mostly loaded up now uh, three of these original rims and tires in the back uh, but uh, yeah this is what I ended up going with it's the the Kinergy ST from Hankook uh, so 225 70 uh, R15 and again these are uh, original stock size and they're supposed to be low rolling resistance which should help with the range a little bit help with the efficiency but like I said uh, you know these uh, Continental Eco Pro uh, plus tires are supposed to be you know low rolling resistance too too and they you know on the bolt ev they haven't even come close to matching the stock uh efficiency so we'll have to see how these hand cooks do uh, i mean they're just basic tires again these are just sort of rear wheel drive uh you know utility trucks so you're not like off-roading or anything with them so you just want them to be efficient quiet 
you know, easy to manage. So uh, that's what I'm going to go ahead and put on these aluminum rims. Uh, and uh, maybe I'll get a final weight and things like that later on uh, once I put them on. But, uh, but yeah, so uh, let's get this uh, packed up and ready to head out. All right, so uh, we have everything packed up. Everything's fit in the car. So uh, we're uh, ready to head down to the tire shop. So uh, I'll fill you in uh, after the tires get uh, filled in. All right, well, for you, it's just been a few moments, but uh, for me, it's actually been a few days. Uh, I've had a lot going on, but I wanted to just kind of close out with the uh, the tire update. So the tires are on, uh, on the rims. They're all good. They're balanced. They're mounted, holding air just fine. I haven't put them on the truck yet uh, just because I'm still in the process of replacing the brakes, uh, but I did actually have a chance to do a quick weigh test on them, and so... Uh, yeah, total weight for these with the 15 inch cast aluminum uh, rims and the uh, Hankook tires is uh, 38 pounds, which for those of you who have followed my channel, you'll know that that's actually lighter uh, than the Chevrolet Bolt EV's uh, rims. And in fact, it's lighter uh, than the Chev Chevy Bolt EV's uh, rims and tires when I'm using the Cruise Eco rims, which are forged aluminum uh, rims. Now, if that's surprising to you, it probably shouldn't be uh, because, again, the Ranger Electrics use the uh, cast aluminum rims, which are lighter, plus they're only 15 inch. And so a lot of the weight is going to be in the rims. And by uh, reducing the size of the rim and increasing the size of the tire, you actually reduce the overall weight. So, yeah, it looks like these are only going to weigh about 38 pounds. Uh, per corner for the rim and tire, uh, which is really good. And then on top of that, you know, I d decided to just, for the heck of it, do a comparison with the 31 inch tires. And those <laughs> weighed nearly 30 pounds more per tire and rim. So, uh, yeah, that's a lot of weight savings and, and a lot of rolling resistance that you're saving on. So, uh, you know, with these electric vehicles, uh, energy is at a premium, right? And you're already talking about a not very efficient platform. Uh, so having, uh, you know, 30 pounds cut off of each side of the, the vehicle or each corner of the vehicle is pretty good. So uh, anyway, uh, hopefully we can get these trucks up and running soon enough that I can actually do some testing with the tires themselves. But hey, that's a uh, one more thing on the checklist that's done. So anyway, I just wanted to, to provide this uh, tire update for you. And uh, if you uh, have any questions, let me know. If you have any uh, thoughts about the tires, the rims, the weights, things like that, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And uh, thank you for watching.